everybody, welcome back to Mexipino Vlog. So this is a different vlog today because as you can see, it's raining and there's a hurricane here in our place, specifically in Hidalgo County. Right now guys, we're going to show you what are the damages of this hurricane that happened here in our area. So as you can see, this is the gate when we go in our house. Actually, we live in a compound, so we're living with the two brothers of Rodney. Say hi, Rodney! Hi! <laughs> so, come on, guys, let's see. Okay, guys, so come on. Actually, the hurricane just started, uh, yes, last night. Last night, right? Last night, and they said, according to the weather forecast, they said that probably it will last like one to two days so i hope it will end today already because there's been a lot of damages already not just here but everywhere so come on <laughs> so let's go inside look at the trees well before we continue there's a funny story <laughs> 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 <You're so> <laughs> Hey. We have a story of this tree. Mandy just told me I just found out that this tree is. Uh, his mom thought it was a flower when she planted it, <laughs> and she thought it's gonna be like this, but it's not. It ended up like that. See, so now they have the biggest tree in the whole wide Hidalgo County. <laughs> okay, so give short to them. Look at that! As you can see, this is Rodney's. Uh, wait, got it. I got it. There's no snakes here. No, no snakes. I saw something coming. It's a poop. If I fall, but take them. Ay, be careful, huh? Be careful, like why? Uh, only you, cause you're ecstatic. Huh? <laughs> you're electrifying. Oh. Okay, guys, come on, follow me. Look, our yeah. poor tree. Look, all of this, all the trees. And look at that tree right there. the biggest branch was split and I had me and my dad and my brothers had planted these trees almost 25 years ago 25 years ago and they survived bigger hurricanes than this I don't know why this one did so much damage like if you come over here look at that look at that You come over here, look at all the trees that we have here. And that tree over there was put up from the roots. So, this, so the roots came out yeah, like, the from came the ground. Out. Yeah. So uh, now these were my dad's fruit trees. Now they got ruined. And I don't think it's done yet. Because they said that probably it's going to happen again later at night. I hope not. Okay, so as you can see, okay, that's just the dog of Bianca because he's scared. Because we put him in a cage because he usually stays there in the front garden but it's all a mess right now and all the trees are falling so we need to put him in a cage for him to be safe. Okay, so as you can see, this is the house and it's all flooded. It's all flooded, guys. So if you enter in this park, come on. Come on, guys. Hi, Draco. Look at this park. And 
and among all of the trees and plants, Roddy just saved three of them. He's a racist. <laughs> <laughs> so he saved this calamansi. Is this calamansi? Calamansi. The calamansi and the guyabano. 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 And we still have the dragon fruit. I hope our dragon fruit will survive. Oh, it's right there. Go. Dragon fruit. The dragon alive. fruit is still alive. It's a survivor. So, see, it's a Filipino. Here. This is the back view of the front garden. Careful, baby. So, this is the side part. This is the side part of our house. So, so banana trees. Oh, There's yeah. all the flood and that's the Look. tree that we've been talking earlier. Oh. And that right there, that gen that's the generator. That's how we have power. And that roof, we will show you where did it came from. Okay, so right now we're going to see, so they have like two areas where they put the trucks. Don't show it to them because that's the business. So because that's the business of Buggy's parents, so they usually put the truck right here. Do you remember that roof, that piece of roof? It came from all the way over there. Look at all the damages on the top. There, you can see guys, we're missing one, two, three, four. No, what do you call that? Lamina. The lamina? Yeah. What's the English of lamina? Um, In Philippines, we call it sin. Sin? <laughs> but the, they call it here lamina. So we're missing one, two, three, four. But that's the good part over here because the good thing over here is whenever they declare that it's a natural disaster, right? Yeah. It's a natural disaster, it means the government will help you to, you know, to replace it or they will give you refunds for you to rebuild it again, so that's the good part. And the okay guys, the next thing we're gonna show you is the mechanic shop where my brothers work at. As you can see, it wasn't too much damage. And the last hurricane, this whole shop flew away, basically. But this time, only the back paneling flew off. These are all my brothers' customers. I'm glad that they didn't get uh, damage during this event but the saddest part is that when my dad first started his mechanic shop he started off with a little bitty one a small one and from there it grew to a bigger one and a bigger one but last night that whole shop flew away and this is where he had his record parts that sold the damage So that's what happened to that one. Memories flown away overnight. <laughs> but this is the storage where my dad keeps the cars when he picks them up from the police department. And there was a fence there, but it blew away. <laughs> the fence blew away, guys. Look at that. It's all destroyed because of the hurricane right here. Now, like as Jose had said earlier, we live on a compound. So this is the roadway to my brother's uh, house, to my oldest, to my two oldest brothers. And what they told me that they had damage as well. So let's go check it out. Let's check their brother's house, guys. So as you can see, we live in one area. It's just a giant area and we live all together here. So we're going to check because they said that they have a lot of damages too. So usually this is the place where we exercise <laughs> once a year. <laughs> and I was telling Jose, the weirdest thing is when I start to exercise, it rains the next day. This time a hurricane. <laughs> it means the weather is telling him not to do exercise. My brother recently built his shop with his and vehicles in his racing cars and his truck for business. And look, it's all on the floor. Take a look at the damage. All the, 
He doesn't even have roof anymore. All the roof is gone. When did he build this? Maybe this year. So guys, he just made this shop just this year or I think last year. Like late last year. And look what happened now. Those are his racing trucks and his classic trucks. The racing trucks and... That's a tow truck over there. The top of the roof flew off, the whole side flew off as well. Look at that, guys. That is crazy. From that bay? Yeah. Look at that. From that, it went right here. Look at this. So much more. Okay, I hope this will be over soon, but I think they said that it's still gonna last for like a day, so we just don't know. We're just gonna update you guys and Thank you so much for your prayers and thank you so much for all of, your, all of your concerns in our Facebook page when we posted a video. So just keep praying and stay safe for those people who are in, who are here in Elsa, Texas or here in Hidalgo County or all the people who are affected of the hurricane. Just stay safe and let's keep praying. God bless everybody. Bye.